Okay, okay, I am back, I am back, I am back. Let's see, where did I leave off? Uh, so I was counting, counting these fixture units, right? In the schedule. So with this, you see, we got, let's just go over a brief, 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 uh, brief moment here and just count, let's count these fixture units or count the plumbing fixtures. We got four laboratories, two showers, two water closets. Let's go back to the second level. Four laboratories, two showers, two water closets, okay? So let's just do a test. I'm gonna erase this water closet and this water closet, okay? So on our updated schedule, there should be zero, right? So those went away. So the previous video was counting these guys up. So when you do your scheduling, this all of this this uh, populates as you um, as you go through your floor plan, right? So let's do a let's undo 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 because what I want to do now, let's check back, and so they should be back, okay? So um, so I'm gonna close that out. And go over, go over this. Um, let's just let's let's do a, let's do some drainage, okay? So I'm gonna start at this water closet and go up to this. Uh, let's start with this guy first, okay? So what I'm gonna do is do the uh, what I plan to do. This is what I plan to do. I don't know if it's gonna work out because y'all know this is an uncut. Uncut version, ain't no polished around here. I'm gonna see, you know, whenever the problems happen, we're gonna we're gonna try and solve them as they come, right? So I don't wanna just just wanna do this as if we were in the office and and everything is supposedly supposed to go how it's supposed to. So I'm going to highlight, is that highlighted? So I can right click and go to that view. All right, okay, we got this guy. You know what? Before I do anything else, let's go back and pin all of the uh, plumbing fixtures. Let's filter and make sure that we only have the plumbing fixtures. So I'm going to pin all of these guys to the floor or to the wall. To the wall, yeah, everything's to the wall except for the shower. The shower's on the floor, right? Let's just take a look because you know how things happen, yeah. So, this guy's to the floor. What the heck is that? Oh, that's the laboratory, okay? Yeah, see, that's the little sliver right there. Okay, let's go back gonna go back and um, so because we're on the second level let's go here let's just see how far we can get with this guy okay the, the slope is off so I'm gonna go here about right there let's just make sure we got all of our pipe types and systems that's PVC and all of these pipes are gonna be PVC because Revit doesn't come with with uh, cast iron fittings, it doesn't come with copper fittings. So we're gonna use everything in plastic. Okay, it's not the real world, so don't get all uptight because everything's not in cast iron. Okay, just just be cool. Just be cool. Just be cool. Okay, let's go back. So what I'm gonna do because I'm on the second level, uh, bring this guy around. No slope. PVC sanitary and from here I think that I'm gonna go down let's rotate let's tighten this up just a little bit rotate here here and go counterclockwise 90 degrees so we can see what's going on okay so here we're gonna go through the floor draw our pipe through the floor with no slope and down is that the second that's the first level that's the ceiling of the first level right 
Okay. Hmm. Is that? Let's see what happens. If I continue down. So we go to the first level. Let's go first level and see if it's in the wall. It doesn't look like it is. Why does I keep messing up like that, man? What's going on here? Man, Revit can be picky, man. Just sensitive, I should say. Where am I? Where am I doing? <laughs> go first floor. First floor. Okay. So it looks like that this wall needs to come down just a tad, okay? So the architect can take care of that, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get him. Y'all know what happened in Justice for All. I'm gonna get him. Nope. Okay, let's go back, go back, go back, go back. Uh, Go back, see, in Justice for All got me. Kind of thinking about that movie, man. If y'all want to see a good movie, I'm telling y'all. Justice for All, Al Pacino. The best in the world. The best in the world. John Forsythe. Let's go. Let's trim this guy out. Okay. So that's good. Because what I want to do in the end is I want to make a connection in this wall. So I'm going to leave just a little bit of this pipe spool. Just a little bit. Just enough to... You know, I should bring it down a little bit more. Let's bring it down, down, down. About right there. Okay, that's a four inch. What kind of... That doesn't look like that's enough room. Six. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna change that. I think that should be at least a seven inch wall. Right? Um, where am I? Man, I always forget where I'm going. Okay, so we got that. So next I'm gonna look at my shower. Let's go to the shower. I need to widen this out a little bit. It's a little bit too tight. And go back to the wall, right? From the shower head. Shower, come down two inches. And no slope, no slope, no slope, no slope. And go over. Now what we need in the shower is a p-trap right so i put my p-trap in the sky and go up just a little bit just enough right under the floor level right okay so we got that where am i going i think that so i'm in the floor so what i can do because i'm in the floor now i think i'm gonna slope no need to slope if it's like in, you know, in these programs, if it's two feet or three feet, no sense in sloping. Come on, guys. Sloping everything. Jesus Christ. Okay. So now we can slope, you know. Okay. So I'm going to slope here at two inches and connect my two um, um, lavatories. Okay. So I'm going to keep this angle and use this one. Okay, go back to the wall. Right, go back to the wall. To the wall. Okay. Uh, is that right? Yeah, everything is sanitary. PVC sanitary. That's one and a half inches. Go over. Nope. I don't want that to slope yet. Here. And go down. Okay, and it looks like we need to make that connection, right? So we go down and now slope. Uh, let's slope now, down. Okay, but what I'm going to do, this pipe, control, here I'm gonna change that to a should I change it here uh, it's not real but I'm gonna change it to a two inch okay and we need a p-trap in here so we can keep all of those unnecessary odors 
away, right? Because the water gets trapped in here so the odor doesn't back up and go into the room and everybody starts complaining and we don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to leave. Do I leave that there? Let's see. What am I doing? Heck. I can connect. I think I can connect. Am I going to connect this guy? Hmm. That's interesting. I think I'm going to connect the second laboratory with the first one. Uh, what am I doing? I think I'm rotating. Rotate. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, so let's rotate clockwise here. What happened? Rotate. Clockwise, 90. And let's look at this laboratory. Let's take a look and see. Hmm. That might work. Turn my slope off. Here. Down. Yeah, I think I might be able to get to that guy. Again, let's make that a two inch. And we got a P-trap over here. Okay. I hope I'm not going too slow for you guys. Okay. Because it's hard for me to keep up sometime. It's going to keep up, keep up, keep up. Yeah, I think that might work. I think that that might work. Let me, let me bring this in some. Uh, I don't like for it to be too, too wide when I start to fit, fit, right? These are called, that's why they're called fittings. Fittings. We're going to fit one pipe onto another pipe using a fitting. Okay, but I'm going to use a detail line to do that. Now, if you're good enough to eyeball these fittings onto a pipe, then, then that's great, man. Because I, I can't do it. I don't, I've tried. <laughs> But it just doesn't work for me. Okay. So here I think I'm going to just kind of roll it down the mountainside. Roll it down the mountainside. Okay. That's a main ingredient song there. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Okay. What am I doing? See, I got all tied up with main ingredient rolling down the mountainside. Forgot what I was doing. Let's go back. Come on, shift arrow key so you can get more intervals, right? And let's trim that off. Let's go back here, back here. Erase my detail line, go back to the first floor. Okay? And what I'm gonna check my fitting, my fitting table, okay? Or my routing preferences. And let's let's look at that. I I think I need a Y combination, an eighth inch bend in this guy. Okay. Let's change that. Let's change that. Let's change that. Let's change that. And I'm gonna drag. That's the two inch onto this two inch. Okay. Okay. And that's what I'm looking for. So let's go back. Rotate my my view or section view counterclockwise 90 degrees and I think that that's tight enough so we can go to our view again looks like I'm gonna have to okay this is what I mean by eyeballing it okay everything looks good looks good and so let's go to a 3d view because what I want to do is this guy Um, I want to grab all of this, I think including this elbow, see what happens. Um, let's go back to that section 
And eyeballing it is, I'm going to try and line up this horizontal using my eyeballs with this little dot and see what happens. I've done this <laughs> many times, and it's it, it might work one out of ten times. I don't know. Maybe my eyeballs are all messed up. I don't know. That's why I like to use the detail line, because usually that works nine out of ten times. So, now... That looks about right. No, it looks like it's a little bit below. No, it looks like it's a little bit above. <laughs> you know, so there's only one way to find out. Let's 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 do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a detail line, right? Let's make this detail line over and see. So it's a little bit above. So and I lost my connection. Let's see if Reverend will let me bring it down some turn the beat around okay I'm gonna just eyeball it you know eyeballing it is maybe a faster way of doing it but a lot of times it's like you you cut three times you know cut three times and measure once but you don't want to do that you want to measure three times and cut once all right let me go back go back Second, let's just, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Now, because you guys are standing around, it's going to work, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we got those one, two, three, four. Okay. So I think that I'm going to get this laboratory. Let's see, what are we doing on this time, man? I'm having, oh my God, 16 minutes are going by that fast? Dang. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop it here. And, um, yeah, I think that's good. I, I think I'm going to stop it here and, and um, continue with the rest of these guys because we have to do the rest of the the sanitary then we have to do the vent then we have to do the hot water and the cold water um i'm not gonna do the hot water return i should do the hot water return then i gotta put in a hot water heater and all that and who wants to do that any volunteers oh man okay well I'm, i think i'm gonna stop it here all right, guys, I hope that helped, and I'll talk to you guys later.